As Super Final Wars walks around minding his own business, something got his attention. Or someone got his attention. He took a closer look and saw there was a girl. Not an ordinary girl. It was... She was... Strange. Very strange. <clears throat> and... She in fact got his attention instantly. It was rare for people to get his attention. Very rare. She had short purple hair and... Well... Her eyes... They were purple bluish color. And she was just taking a break from her coffee sh well, her tea shop. So far, I was going to even realize that she was a ghoul. He basically ignored her ghoul scent and just couldn't help to stare at her for a little bit. He then snapped himself back to reality. <clears throat> his first instinct was, since she's a ghoul, his first instinct was to back away. But there was something about this girl that that basically was calling out to him. There was something about her that was calling to him, asking him to stay. What was this feeling that he was feeling? <clears throat> there was a strange feeling to feel. I never got this feeling before. Then one of his friends were calling out to him. He then turned around out and just decided to go back to his friend. <clears throat> it was in fact still a 2000 horse while was calling him. Man, you have got to, 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 you, oh my god, this is just amazing. You're lucky I get, chose to say yes. That you guys are allowed to freaking come out. out. But you seem a little spaced out over there when I saw you. Has something got your attention? More like someone got my attention. Now that's strange. No one appears to, got your, to get your attention like that. Well, that's the thing. This girl... Super Final was whispering to Siltuzan's ear. I think she's a ghoul. You think she's a ghoul? Yes, but there was something different about her. Before I was going to come back to you, it felt like there was something about her that was calling to me. Asking me to stay. <clears throat> I don't know. That or I was just hallucinating or something. Well, you've been basically working your butt off for three days to get us some food and some supplies. So, maybe that's what was making you hear things. Yeah, I guess you're right. By following him in the middle of the night, the others were asleep. They had something else for dinner besides a human. But Super Final Wars was not that easily determined to wear off with human meat. 
he was a predator. Not just ordinary, not just an ordinary predator, but the ultimate apex predator. Unchallenged and undefeated. And he couldn't let that title get taken away. So, he had to prove himself. Every day and every night and every month and every year. He proved himself to be the top predator. The ultimate apex predator. A predator that even put the human race at the bottom of the food chain. Even though the human race was already at the bottom of the food chain to the main kaijus. The man Kai just sit at the very, very, very top of the food chain. As one night, as Super Final was, was looking around for a human to snack on, he hears some distress cry, someone calling out for help. There was a time where he saved a few humans or two. But this time proved to be different. Because this time, it was the same girl that he saw. Just like it was, it was the same girl that he saw at the coffee shop. What in the world was going on here? But not just that, there was another person. And she wouldn't be calling out like that for help unless it's a he's a pervert. Super Final was despise all perverts. And he wants to get rid of them. To him, he thinks that the world would be better off without them. But then instant he charged in. He grabbed had the guy by his leg and dragged him back. The girl was shocked about this. Instead of staying back, she chose to follow. Normally in this step situation, she'll assume it's another ghoul. But how the way this per how the way the guy was got got dragged back didn't seem like like it was a ghoul at all. Maybe it was something else. She ran right on the other side of the alley, and then saw that Sir Fireworks had already killed him. He turned his attention to Toka, who was in fact the girl that he saw. Oh, oh crap. Before Sir Fireworks could even think about trying to get away, he was stopped. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, thank you? Toka didn't even notice her Super Final was his wings and spines and tail. It wasn't until she realized he was no ordinary person or a ghoul. He was a man kaiju. This was her first time seeing one. Before she can say anything else, Super Final took the grabbed his kill and then went up to the building, not realizing that Toka was actually following him. When he got out of her sight, she was confused. Then something grabbed her, her and then basically slammed her against the wall. She, When she opened her eyes, she saw it was Super Final Wars. He did not like to be followed, especially when it comes to his own friends or family, following him behind like a creep. Stop following me. I um I'm not looking for any trouble. Oh. Oh. Are you a ghoul? Because there's no way I, you can get up here like this unless you're a ghoul. Normally humans would like to take the stairs, but there's but what I saw when I was jumping up to get up here, there was no stairs. So, are you a ghoul? Toka shook her head, giving Super Fireworks his answer. 
Well, I want to thank you. Just please don't kill me. I won't tell anyone else. I swear. I won't tell anyone else. Okay. So far, I don't know why he just spared her life like that. Normally, when it comes to people following him, they don't normally have a happy ending. Normally, they rather prefer just to hang out for a while. And you know what I mean when I said that. This time, there was something strange about this girl that made <clears throat> Super Fire was to, was to spare her life instead of killing her. Alright, what's your name? Toka. My name's Toka. And you? Super Godzilla Fire Wars Kruger. Well, nice to meet you, Super Final Wars Kruger. You can call me Super Final Goji for short. Or you just come up with a stupid nickname for all I care. Super Final Wars never usually like to hang out with people. Especially the ones that he doesn't recognize. Rather, they're outside of his friends or family or a complete stranger. For some reason, Super Fire Wars chose to hang out with Toka for a little bit. By now, he actually got done finishing his meal. What remains of the guy, well, didn't really look like a human being at all. Super Fire Wars was clean in his face. So, guess you own that coffee shop? No, but a friend of mine does. I just work there. It's also my home. Your home, huh? Well, ain't that surprising. So, what are you doing here? Huh. Well, my friends and I... Your friends? Yeah, my friends and I lived in the certain part of the sewers where no one else basically uses anymore. It's basically just piles of human and ghoul bones. Ghouls? A few of them tried to make their attempts to kill me and my friends. But they didn't make, didn't really quite make it. So. Oh. You were saying? Well, basically, you were explaining about you and your friends. Oh yeah, my friends and I have been on the run for a while. We used to live in Australia just about, oh, a month ago. But I was taken over by Mamuda Prime. Oh, him? Sir Fine was, was turned his attention back to Toka. You heard about him? Yeah, he's like the most powerful little Mamuda of them all, right? Yeah, not to say he's a godfather. That monster took away half of my family. I'm so sorry. Did anyone else survive? Half of my family did, but the others were not so lucky. I had a large family back then. Now only half of my family survived. None were successful to even take him down. I'm sorry to hear about sorry to hear about that. It's fine. 